So it's about 10 after 7. Um, got up around 6. Packed everything. Filtered our water. Got our food out of the bear boxes. And uh, we're about to head back out on the trail. Got about a little over 15 miles today. So a uh, little cold morning. Like 43 I think my watch is telling me. Foggy. It's not raining. It sounds like rain. But I think it's just a dew falling off the trees and hitting other leaves um yeah we're not gonna eat breakfast just a little snack we gotta stop at um one of the waterfalls along the trail i think that's where we'll uh it's about four and a half miles it's probably where we'll have breakfast if we are hungry and decide to do that uh might make coffee there but other than that i feel great i had a great night's sleep bill said he had a good sleep um so we're going to be hitting the trail. We'd like to be out on the trail. I think Bill said around 745 is the goal. Anything earlier is awesome because we do have a long day. And we don't want to be hitting camp at dark because, uh, I don't know, just don't want to do that. Don't want to set up in the dark. Day two uh, at the Girard Trail, on the Girard Trail, at Oil Creek State Park. 15 miles and so many whatever yeah. <laughs> steps. Be embracing the suck today. Yeah, so got about a decent start today, 7.45, which is about two and a half hours earlier than yesterday. And about five and a half more miles today, so. We kind of got a game plan for today. We stick to it. I think we'll be good. So, see you at the trail. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> So far, uh, we're maybe, maybe a mile tops, and this is a really nice part of the trail. Wide open, very well maintained, probably very well traveled. Um, got a steep hill to my left here. So to kind of put this in perspective, it's Friday morning. We'd like to be at Wolfkill Shelter by five tonight after doing 15 miles and finish up on Saturday so that I can be home Sunday to watch football and then Monday night I'm going to the Steelers game against the Cleveland Browns and we can't have the Steelers losing the Cleveland Browns like they lost to the San Francisco 49ers. Car power.
Oh, we made it to Plum Dungeon, but there was really nothing to see. Between, I mean, it's the end of the summer. Everything's still overgrown. And uh, the creeks are all dried up. So I didn't do too much there. Stopped there for a little bit, had a snack. And uh, now we're moving on. Alright, so me and Bill came up with demise the plan to uh instead of doing the whole 15 miles <clears throat> with all of our weight, we came down to a uh, road. And this road actually will take us maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell on the map, half a mile to a mile to our next shelter. So we're just gonna go to that shelter now, set up camp, and just basically slack pack. And uh the rest of the, the trail that we had planned for today. So that way we are not setting up camp at 10 o'clock tonight and I think without all this weight on our packs we'll actually get it done a lot quicker so yeah that's the plan and I think it's a, a great plan just to get all this weight <laughs> off of our backs miserable <laughs> okay I haven't filmed much since I last talked to you guys because my battery died and um so we made it to the shelter uh shelter number six it's off kind of secluded i don't know we never did this before we got the shelters next time i might just get a tent site because we're using tents anyways but um i don't even know if you're allowed to set up a tent next to a shelter but we are because i don't want to sit outside and have mice running all over my face or a rattlesnake cuddling up next to me for some warmth but uh yeah so we're here we're gonna slack pack and um do a loop kind of back here which we i believe have about 10 more miles to go uh the hike here though was probably the hardest hike of the day of the weekend so all right yep we're um charging a couple things a couple batteries my apple watch might get a snack and we're hoping to be out of here by noon and back here tonight by six seven eight at the latest but everything will be set up by then so see you then all right we're living leaving wolf kill our shelter gonna head back on the trail now it's about 12 30. uh got light packs on now film better hopefully we'll get about 10 miles or so done which will complete the second day and uh i don't know kind of doing like a loop today we dropped everything off as our camps our tents so uh i don't know let's let's hit it let's see what happens So we ended the day, um, you know, things happen, 
uh, Bill's knees bothering him. So instead of pushing it, I had to talk him out of it so that, uh, you know, we can get the miles in tomorrow. Those things are going to happen when you're out on trail. I mean, being a hiker is like being an athlete. Athletes get injured. Hikers get injured. If there wasn't a risk of injury, then I think everybody would do it. So uh, the health is the most important thing. So remember that when you're doing, when you're out there on the, on the trail, trying to get miles in. So we're going to try for uh, 11, a little over 11 miles maybe back to my truck. And uh, hopefully he can pull through tomorrow. If not, we have, we have other plans. We have other ways to, to get home. So we'll be all right.